Okay, I think the diff, diff cover turned out pretty good. Uh, okay, so now carrying on with the rust removal. So here's the exhaust I have picked up. I've already been working on the H pipe here. It's not too bad actually. Okay, so I haven't got to this side as much, but this side is pretty much all done. I'm get as much rust as I can off of this uh, so I can surround coat and, and heat wrap it. Okay, but unfortunately, that's too small. So, what I got going on here for the headers is I got this bin. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up some, uh, some uh, sodium carbonate, fill that up with water, and borrow Buddy's battery charger and try uh, a little electrolysis cleaning and see how that works out uh, because those are big pieces and I want to try to avoid using a drill and scraping it with a brush because it's going to take a long time so anywho uh, that's what the plan is for a little later on I got to pick up the carbonate fill that up set it all up and then uh, shoot some more vid Hello everybody, so I picked up a couple of things from a buddy of mine, thank you Bobby for the deck for the Cougar and a couple of parts for my cars, okay, I'm sure you guys can hear that annoying sound in the background, eh? Uh, unfortunately it is my ultrasonic cleaner, <laughs> but when you turn the music on you can't really even hear it. I also got this new diff cover. So, unfortunately, I bent mine on my SVO. My jack slipped. It wasn't leaking, but I figured I'd get one that isn't bent. See how she cleans up, and then I'll paint her. Okay, so. Uh, I ran it through the ultrasonic cleaner for a couple hours and I was going to use the evapor rust again, but I don't think I'm going to. But as you can see, it's pretty filthy. And I used the brush there and then I used this on it as well for a bit. Also used the, the sander, wiped it down, but this is what I got. I think it's pretty good actually. No pretty dang good, I guess. Hmm? Not bad. So, I think I'm going to paint it black. I got some uh, general purpose black paint. Give it a shot. See what she looks like. Okay guys, I'm not sponsored, obviously, because I'm not making any money on this channel, <laughs> but uh, Crud Cutter is really good for removing the rust, but I'll be honest with you, you know what I found even better? Double strength vinegar, or extra strength, if you can find the double strength even better, but this is uh, extra strength vinegar, and got these soaking in oil so they don't reflash rust on me but look at that this was coated in rust it was brown in rust I actually look at that that was covered in rust too so those bolts actually uh, I had done in CLR for two days and they still didn't come that clean an hour with vinegar in my ultrasonic cleaner and they're amazing so my uh, recommendation is double strength distilled vinegar for rust removal, man. It works amazing. Carry on. Oh, hey everyone. Uh, sorry guys, I forgot to roll video, but... Okay, I put the headers in here. And what I got set up here is an ultra... Oh, sorry, not an ultrasonic, but a uh, electrolysis bath. Okay, so that's water in there. Unfortunately, I'm afraid it'll leak out of those rivets, so I couldn't... 
submerge them completely, but uh, you mix water with washing soda and you hook your negative onto the piece you want the rust to come off of and the positive onto what they call it is a sacrificial metal. So that's going to actually collect rust. Uh, when this is done, the rust will fall off of that and whatever comes off and floats around will end up collecting in that. And that is just hooked up to a battery charger. It's an old school battery charger. Just got her at two amps. Don't want to cook it too fast. So. Now hopefully that'll clean it up or at least loosen it up a fair bit so uh, you know I can uh, clean it up and uh, encode it and wrap it but uh, yeah that's where we're at see how that works uh, before I move on to uh, the other things got some more light you can actually see it's working it's fizzing up a sacrificial piece okay this has been on about an hour now you guys can see that fizzing in see the bubbles bubbling up I'm assuming more of that actions happening underneath but I can't see because she's gotten dirty okay Whew. good morning it is morning uh, it's the next day about 14 hours later that this thing's been on look at this Just unplug the uh, charger. Sacrificial freaking metal. Okay, so it seems to got a fair bit off. I'm gonna pull them out and lay them out on the floor and uh, see how much scrubbing needs to clean them off. But uh, I think that's gonna give me a fighting chance. Okay, now the problem is uh, I gotta use the grinder on it now with the wire brushes, but it's too damn cold out. And uh, no matter what I do, it gets too dusty in here if I start grinding uh, whatever's left on there. It didn't do a bad job. It got rid of the big clumpy pieces of, metal, of uh, rust off it, but uh, not too bad. Okay. 
go at it a bit with the grinder and I'm sure it'll clean up really nice. You see what happens is it turns black, eh? That rust turns black and then you just scrape it off with soap and water apparently they say. So I'll just grind it off with my uh, my grinder. And as you'll see what I can do today without dusting out my whole garage.
Okay, so I'm applying some of this on it to see if I can just get rid of the, the top little layer that's left. This is a lot of work, boys. Okay, so in efforts not to make a huge, hugely long video, that's where I'm going to end it today. I've cleaned up the H pipe. She's uh, ready for primer and ceramic coat. And here's one side done. Electrolysis, grinder, and then crud cutter gel on top of it to get rid of whatever is left as much as I could. And uh, it actually is an inhibitor as well. So, and that's what it looked like originally after, actually this is after the ultrasonic bath so that's, that's how it came out of the bath with the majority of the stuff off and that's with a little more elbow grease so anywho leave it at that and uh once i clean everything up again and i get the paint and get to wrapping the headers and installing it i'll make another video all right hope everyone's having a great day take care